Hey guys, it's Mega Bubfish here on the Bunch of Squares SMP, and I am on a quest for some inspiration. I've been kind of unsure of what to do a little bit lately, so today I'm going to go and check out some of my fellow Squares stuff, because uh, I kind of want to see what other people have been working on and maybe get a little bit of inspiration for my own projects. Now, I was actually at Felchim's, bra uh, Felchim's base the other day, and it's really cool. It's kind of this old-fashioned castle thing, and it's it's just really great. It reminds me of the first time I played multiplayer with people, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, but today, just to start with, um, I've seen this portal here for a while. I don't know what it is or where it leads, so I'm just going to jump right through it real quick, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so here we are. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is interesting. Whoa. Okay. Well, this is definitely um I I think I would have I think I would have seen this before if I had uh if I'd actually this is laggy as heck. What have somebody built here? This is absolutely something. Oh. Um okay. Um well, this is different. Uh hmm. Well, I'm not sure what's happening here, but, uh, I think, <laughs> I think I'm not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Um, let, let me, let me just look around for a little bit and see when things load in. Whoa, there's some cool stuff happening here. You know, something's telling me I'm not on Bunch of Squares anymore. Um, <laughs> oh, that is something else. Okay. All right, wow, what, okay, there's a giant chest monster down there, that's interesting, and there's lag everywhere, which is also a fascinating thing. Oh, and it's the Statue of Hermity. Well, I wonder where I am now. Interesting, interesting. I appear to have jumped a portal into the Hermitcraft world. I, uh, who knew? Ow. Well, as long as we're here, we might as well check some of this out. Because, uh, you know, Hermitcraft did inspire a bunch of squares in many different ways. And wow, this world is laggy. I think I might have to crank down the render distance. Hold on just a second. Oh, let me land. Okay, hold on a sec. Okay, that's hopefully a little bit better. Goodness sakes. Um, yeah, they aren't kidding. There's a lot of stuff going on in Hermitcraft. <laughs> Especially here in the shopping district. Look at this. We got a lot of terracotta, a whole lot of terracotta. Yeah. Wow, this is going to be laggy as heck video, isn't it? For a little while at least. Man, you know, this is something I've wanted to jump in and see this world um pretty much since I started watching the season. I started watching Hermitcraft um near the end of season 5, so I was there for pretty much everything in season 6 and it's a phenomenal phenomenal group of people, phenomenal group of just fantastic builders too. There's all this crazy stuff in one dense little area. And this is really kind of what inspired me to want to do bunch of squares in the first place was this sort of thing. And I, I'm sorry that this is lagging so dang much, but uh, I really just want to make this and, and show guys, show you guys a little bit of what I've found here on Hermitcraft. There's the giant pickle. I've got to go and check out Green's giant pickle. As long as I'm being green, I should probably go and check that out. There it is. It's Green's giant face on a pickle. He's turned himself into a pickle. I <laughs> just... Oh, this early stuff. This These early builds. It's fantastic. Oh, the dragon is still moving his mouth. That's cool. That's cool. Did, did the rocket shop ever sell out? No, there's plenty of fireworks in there. That's fantastic. Too bad I've already grabbed a ton of them um, from Creative Mode, because why not? Um, Cherry Computers from Good Times with Scar. Oh, I'm just lagging everywhere right now. It's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. I can't even imagine what a nightmare this was for, for people with bad internet connections or, or bad computers. But then again, this is the hermits we're talking about, and... Uh, They've all probably got pretty top-end stuff going on there. We've got some Concorp stuff in the background. And you see the giant cloud over Scar's landscaping shop. Let's go check out that landscaping shop real quick. Because this this is probably 
one of, if not my most favorite builds from all of Season 6. Just the, the sheer scale of this thing. And it very rarely got used. Oh, I'm lagging so much. I'm lagging so much. Hello. Okay. Coming in for a landing. Oh. Yeah, look at that. And, and my favorite part of it is just this entrance here. They got the little mushrooms. And I think I actually made a few of these mushrooms back in Season 1. Um, over by uh, County's base, I believe, was where I built those. And yeah, this just looks phenomenal. And there's all of this stuff just kind of hanging out here around the edges of things. Um, I don't know if anybody ever found this during a video, but I did find a green head down here. And uh, I feel like I feel like I just kind of need to uh, do one of these. Did I? How does that look? That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I, I re-edited my skin just a little bit, but um, I am gonna want to get my skin back. Uh, how am I gonna do that? I think, though, I think there are multiple ways of changing your skin here on the bunch of squares SMP, and I think we should head over to one of them right now. Because, uh, this is not me. Did I say that there were ways of changing your skin on the Bunch of Squares SMP? I meant Hermitcraft. I'm just, uh, uh, it's everything's blending together. I'm, 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 I'm channeling my inner Grian right now and just face planting everywhere. So, um, yeah, I am going to actually fly over to Mumbo's base because I think there might be a way there of changing my skin. Or, or maybe it's green space. I don't remember right off the top of my head. So I'm going to just go and do that real quick. Okay, so here's my thinking here. We've got the Stashinator 9001 here in green space. Um, and here's my thought. Uh, it's currently not got a mustache on it. So maybe reverse engineering that... If I use it now, it might make my face a little bit more, you know, less green, and less green might be more me, so I'm just going to go ahead and try that. I hope my logic is sound, and here we go. Oh, I'm hearing it. Oh, it's flashing lights. It's too many different things to keep track of, okay. Explosions, my goodness. Oh, it's so slow. It's so laggy. Okay. Did it... Did it do anything? Oh! Goodness sakes! Okay, well, I guess... I guess I should have seen that coming. That's definitely, um... That's definitely not what I was hoping for, but you know what? I guess... I guess when life gives you a mustache, you just kind of take the mustache. Okay, well... This is a sign, I suppose. Next, I guess we have to go and check out Mumbo Jumbo's base. And Mumbo's base is just an absolute beast. It's so huge. Yeah, this is just... It's just mental to me. The amount of... Oh! The amount of lag that a single base can generate. Oh my goodness. Oh! My poor little... My poor, poor laptop. My poor, poor laptop. Okay, ow. Wow, yeah, this is one of those things where it's like, watching the entirety of Season 6, I do not understand how how this is any good right here. Having these sea lanterns like this would drive me absolutely up the wall. Also, is this actually diamond ore? Oh my goodness, it's just spare diamonds. That's just nuts to me that they've just got, he's just got... Stacks of diamonds just laying in a chest there. I wonder if he even knew he had these toward the end of the season. Yeah, look at all that coal. Oh, I'm jealous, though. Why is there slime in there? I, I guess, I don't know. It's maybe broken again. This kind of always broke throughout the season for him, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's what's going on now. And then we've got all of these blocks over here, all <laughs> set up and sorted and nothing in any of the chests lovely. It's really rather a bummer to me that uh, the HRN was never completed. As you can see over on this end of things, their east station was never actually finished. But boy oh boy, if you come over here, you can see more beautiful good times with Scar landscaping. I am, I'm, I love 
Scar's ability to terraform. It's so good. It's so smooth. And it feels just... It feels like it could be a natural biome in Minecraft, really. Um, but you but you look at it and you think that, but you also know that somebody put so much time and effort into something like this, into this waterfall, and just making it so so clean and so smooth and just all of this sculpting of the terrain. I just love it. Absolutely amazing. Over here we have Sahara, of course, preparing to absolutely kill my computer's frames more than usual. My goodness. Okay. And of course we've got the HRN coming down here. Okay. Wow. Okay, lag has forced me to land in the futuristic district. Um where I am going to find a bed, hopefully. Boy, and here we obviously have a map of the entire area. And this is absolutely... It blows my mind how they're able to take such a huge space and just fill every square inch of it with something amazing. It's so cool. Down here, you've got the Civil War area. You've got Star Base over there. And you've got the G-Team base over here. And you have the battlefield, and you have this wall. I don't even know what this wall is. is this is just... Was the wall just supposed to separate out the medieval district? I think that was what that was. Uh, you've got the... Wow, just crazy amounts of builds in every corner of this map. And that's what I want Season 3 to wind up looking like. I, I want it to look like... Oh, goodness, my face. I want it to look something like this by the time we're done with season three of Bunch of Squares, that is. Because I just love this sort of thing. I love making a map feel like it's lived in. And that's really what, uh, when I was wandering around this earlier, I really think uh, Hermitcraft does a great job of having the world feel lived in. It's not perfect, it's not pristine, it's merely just fantastic. It's it's so overwhelming a lot of it that it's just it's just incredible. Okay, I'm gonna drop through the floor here because I don't remember what this does. Oh oh, dolphin superhighway, dolphin superhighway. Oh, that's right, that's right. I'd forgotten about this. Oh, I way overshot it already. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Nope. Oh, all right. <laughs> that's. I think that's way too laggy for me right now. So I'm going to avoid that. But yeah, no, this is just incredible what they've been able to accomplish. <gasps> is that just a skeleton horse wandering around? No name tag or nothing? I just found a random skeleton horse on Hermitcraft that nobody's claimed. And I think that's beautiful. So I'm over here in Tower Bay admiring the skyline and these beautiful towers and all of Exumavoid's crazy stuff that he's built over here in Tower Bay. Um, but I'm thinking it's probably time to, uh, to go on and um, continue trying to fix my skin, I guess. Because I still... Uh, Mumbo is not the perfect skin for me. I want my skin back. So I think I'll need to figure out something new some other way of trying to fix my skin because the uh, the stashinator did not work. That's just a simple fact of things. It did not work. So, I think I know of a couple of different places that I could try and fix my skin. And one of those places is here on Scarassic Island, which is just an absolutely phenomenal good times with scar build and basically you know i've i've heard of the exfoliating properties of coal and ash and i think um maybe just flying up onto this cloud or maybe diving into the volcano would uh, probably clean this mustache off my face so i'm gonna do that real quick and i will be right back with the results Okay, the goal here is that I'm going to singe my mustache off and hopefully get my regular face back by swooping in as close as I can. Ooh, okay, that was close, and lag is not my friend. But I did swoop in super close there. Hopefully that should have singed off my mustache and given me a nice new look. Okay, now I look like good times with Scar. I mean, I... I 
<laughs> this might be an improvement. It kind of depends. This is kind of similar to my regular skin. It's got my smirk. But uh, he's way too enthusiastic. He's way too enthusiastic for my regular face. My regular face is just kind of meh. And I'm missing my eyebrows. I burnt my eyebrows clean off. Okay, well, this is no better. However, while I'm here, let's just take a good look and appreciate Scarassic Island. Seriously, I think... I know I said earlier... Oh, it's so frozen. Oh, it's so frozen. Okay. I said earlier that the landscaping shop might have been my favorite build, and I'm realizing now that that is, that's just not the case. This is so uniquely detailed, and it was started from essentially nothing, and every block of this has been renovated with just love and attention to detail, and just, it's phenomenal what Scar managed to accomplish with this island. I love it to pieces it's amazing um and you just get up above it if you can here and you got black sands island looking nice and cursed over here and you have these beautiful beautiful shapes here you know honestly good times with scar is probably my favorite builder on the hermitcraft uh season six easily um far and above just everything the natural builds the um the attention to details with the paths and everything uh and, and and it's just one of those things that you want to try and try and copy but there's only one there's only one good times the scar and you really just cannot match him it's it's phenomenal what he has managed to accomplish with these builds but once again i really think that i need to change my face and i really can't be i can't, really can't be seen on bunch of squares with this face, everybody'd be like, "Oh, you just stole Scar's face!" And no, I didn't. I, I I burned my I burned my mumbo mustache off in a volcano, and this is what happened. So, um, I'm gonna have to find another method of uh cleaning my face off and getting my face back. So I think I'm probably gonna have to go to another of Scar's builds out in the Halloween district. Yes. That has been known to fix faces before, and fix the dead even, so let's go do that. Okay, here we are in the Halloween area, and um, this was tough to find. There was nothing in the, um, in the hub that told you exactly where this was, so this is a little bit of a struggle to find it, but hopefully, once we get through here, everything should be nice and hunky-dory. Ah, yes, the crypts. Yes, the crypts of the dead. And as you can see over here, the Frankenscar Mansion. I believe that was the Frankenscar Mansion. Um, yeah, here we go. The lightning striking the top of the tower should provide us the power we need to uh, resurrect my long-gone face. Um, hopefully, uh, I don't want to have to live the rest of my life as good times with Scar. I want to be back to being Mega Bubfish. I think that's... That's not too much to ask, I hope. So, yes, I'm going to just throw myself into the Frankenscarian thing here and hopefully come out looking fresh-faced and fancy. Okay, I've had a nice slime bath, and hopefully this should have done it. Uh, uh, okay. All right, slime bath. All right, Iscal. Iscalium. Right. Right. Okay. So this nothing is working right now. I just keep I just keep becoming different hermits, which uh, I mean there are worse fates out there. But I really need to get my own face back. Um, maybe they're keeping it at Area Seventy Seven. Ooh, I think I might need to engineer a jailbreak. So here we are in New Hermitville, with all of these crazy contraptions and things being built up on top of things. And you know what? This may not have been me checking out my fellow squares for inspiration, but boy, oh boy, I think this is inspiration enough. There's all sorts of crazy cool buildings and things being done around here. And, you know, this is always... I, I wasn't the... I was kind of surprised that they went out into the middle of nowhere to do the stuff that they did for season uh, six after they spent all this time setting up the main island. But looking around the main island, there really was not much space left. They really kind of did everything 
right there. So, um, yeah, that's very, very interesting. Also, I noticed that the mansion is still here. Now, I think, if I am correct, that uh, the mansion, when it was sold... Oh, B-Dubs Building Co., okay. Um, basically, what happened here is after the season ended, they came back and uh, split that building down the middle. But I'm not here for that. I'm here to fix my face, and I think it's time to go to the infamous Resaturator. Now, I've tried a bunch of other things already. Hopefully, hopefully this time this will work. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, lag. Oh, it's throwing the blocks around. Oh, it's too much moving at once. Oh, no. Okay, all right. Okay, wow. Okay, all right, cool. Did that do anything? Did it fix my face? Did it... Okay. All right, well, this is closer at least, but it's still not me. Maybe we can get this thing to fix my skin. Oh, I just I just activated the lag, didn't I? Okay, all right. Um, this may have worked. Let me see. Everything's still so laggy. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's not it at all. I've got to get out. I've got to get out. I've got to escape Hermitcraft before I'm stuck here in my old skin forever. Where should I go? Where should I go? What is the option here? I can think of one possible way to get through all of this on my own and alive. And that is to demise. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, okay, all right, I'm back. Okay, was that all just a dream? Was that seriously just all a dream? Oof. Well, you know, the good news is I'm feeling particularly inspired, and, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go capitalize on that right now. But, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this goofy little episode, we will have more crazy builds for you um, on the actual Bunch of Squares SMP here shortly. I just wanted to make this just for the fun of it. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next episode. Bye!